Welcome back. I get a lot of questions about settings, so in this video, I'm going to cover all of my Moto settings for my DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. First, I'll swipe up from the bottom and go to resolution settings. I'm on 4K 16 by 9, 30 frames per second. Tap in the upper right, have my field of view on ultra wide. You have standard D warp and wide. I like the ultra wide setting. Over on the left are stabilization settings, and I have that in rock steady. Rock steady plus crops the image a little more than rock steady, so I prefer the rock steady setting. The top left is just a mode setting, so you'll want that in video. Now I'm going to tap this menu on the right side of the screen. This is another stabilization menu where you have an option between daily and sport, and I can put that in sport. And then the image adjustment, I just leave that in default. I'll swipe down from the top. Full front screen doesn't really matter because I'm going to turn off the front screen. I'll show you that in just a minute. I always leave voice controls off because that just saves a little bit of battery. Orientation lock, I'm going to leave that off. That way if I ever run the camera upside down on a mount, it will automatically adjust to the orientation. So quick switch, I don't really use these settings all that much, but I just have it set to where it's either my custom mode for moto, and I'll show you how to set up that custom mode in a minute, or photo or video. Now quick switch, just to show you, is the option where when the camera's on you can push the power button and you switch between modes. So I only have those three modes on there. But again, I rarely use that. This is just your screen brightness. Now before we go into settings, I'm going to swipe to the left and make sure that this is set up for SD card. This camera does have some internal memory. Uh, and it's only 47 gigabytes or 48 gigabytes. That's not quite enough for a full race. So I have a SD card in there. I have a 256 gigabyte SD card in there and I always keep it on that for storage. So let's go into settings. Snapshot is that function where you can just hit the record button when the camera's off and it'll start recording. So I've got it set up for my moto mode. Single screen preview, when you select this, it basically turns the front screen off. So you can see that front screen is completely off, which I always leave that front screen off. I don't need that front screen on for anything ever really. Uh, and you can see if I turn that off, that front screen is now on. So I always leave that selected so that that front screen is off. I don't have a wireless mic connected. Now voice control, always turn voice control off to save battery. Now always on display is a little bit different on this camera than it was on the three and four. I do have it on because I want this indicator highlight to show when the camera's recording. That's a LED in the top left of the screen that blinks when the camera's recording. You have a couple different options here. I'm just gonna have that light on, that's it. Now the Action 3 and 4 actually had a separate LED up here in the left hand corner that would blink when the camera's recording. But this Osmo Action 5 does not have a separate LED there, so you need this always on display to have any indication that the camera's recording. Screen off when recording, I keep that in the lowest setting, 3 seconds. So when I start recording, the screen's going to come on for 3 seconds and then go off. I do have wireless connections on. I do connect this to my phone occasionally, but the good thing is this doesn't automatically connect to the phone when it's close to it. So you can keep that on without too much of a battery impact. Sounds are on high. And I think that's everything in the settings that I've changed. Now we're gonna go to the top left icon there, and this is where you're gonna save your custom mode. So I've already got my custom mode saved as Moto. When you go to save a custom mode, you'll hit that little icon right there. Uh, and then you can select a custom icon, whatever custom icon you want, and then confirm. And it'll save whatever settings you have at that time as that custom moto. Now I'm not gonna save it because I've already got that saved. Now once I have that custom mode saved, I can go select it in quick switch to make sure it's available in quick switch. And once you've got your custom mode saved, you'll wanna go back to settings and select that custom mode in your snapshot settings so that when you use Snapshot to turn the camera on the recording, it's gonna use your custom settings. And you won't have to worry about whether or not a setting got changed somewhere. When you hit Snapshot, it'll go into that Moto Snapshot mode. And I'll just show you real quick what Snapshot does. So I'm gonna turn the camera off. So when the camera's off, I can hit that record button once 
camera's going to turn on and start recording. You can see in the bottom left corner it's in the moto mode. After three seconds the screen goes off and I have my LED blinking to indicate that it's recording. Now at this point the camera's going to record until the battery dies or the memory card is full or until I hit the record button again and it'll stop and then power down. So those are the settings I use for my DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. Hit the like button if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.